especially with all their modifications, you know, I think they look pretty good. Shit. Oh, fuck. Okay, let's, um... Oh, shit. So, when you think of Fallout 4, what do you think of? Do you think of the amazingly well-designed settlement quests? Another settlement has sent word that they need our help. Do you think of Myrna's totally irrational fear of simps? You do look human enough, but I'll be watching you. Do you also think of a wonderfully polished, bug-free classic Bethesda title? All of this just works. Well, time to get that bug spray in right away, because if you thought Fallout 4 VR was any different, buddy, you're mistaken. Oh, fuck! Oh shit, not good. You know what else is not good? The amount of people that are not subscribed. So, subscribe now. Holy shit! Ah, fuck! Fuck's sake. Fallout 4 in its base game is a pretty alright game. I wouldn't say it's the best. I mean, I wouldn't even say it's the best Fallout. But there is one thing that makes it stand out from other Fallouts and other games. Bethesda, in late 2017, decided to release Fallout 4 VR shortly after releasing Skyrim VR. This was back when a few companies decided to port some of their games to VR. And I think it's fair to say that Fallout 4 was one of the biggest ports that ever released for VR. Next to Skyrim, of course. Okay. Quickly, 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 quickly. Quickly got the minigun. There you go. I've got the minigun. Um, that's not right. What the fuck? That's off-centered. Okay, okay, okay. Also, you should probably know that I make more VR related videos and have a Discord server. Feel free to join and become part of the community. I will leave the link in the description below and in a pinned comment. The minigun's a little bit off centered, but that's completely fine. Boom. There. There. Move, move. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Holy fuck. When it released, reviewers were mixed, but VR fans generally leaned into the more positive side, just for the sheer fact that we even got a game like this in VR. Of course, it being a port of an already existing game, didn't stop Bethesda from selling the VR copy for 50 British pounds. Oh it still God. retails for almost 50 pounds on the Steam store, almost seven years later. This caused a big problem within the community. The actual quality of the port wasn't up to standard for a small 20 pounds add-on, let alone a 50 pound game all by itself. Maybe we have another round of jet? Good thing guys, another round of jet. Come on! Mag to kill that guy, but it's fine. Oh shit, okay, this thing's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Hyper action pistol. Oh, okay. Fuck, I don't wanna die. Got him, okay. It's not the best weapons, a plunger in the bath. As you do. Oh. Fuck. Fucking shit. Fucking balls. I see something a bit better, something a bit better. Pipe. Okay. Okay, he got me, he got me. So as I said, the quality of the game wasn't up to scuff. This is where modders come in. I'm not going to bash Bethesda in the same way people always do. I think Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, Fallout 4, and Fallout 3 are all perfectly acceptable games on their own, without modding, albeit with some performance hiccups on consoles in some areas. For those games, I don't believe it's true to say that modders fixed the game. Sure, modders fixed certain bugs to make the game better, but the notion that mods are a needed requirement for the game to even be enjoyable in most instances just isn't the case. Keyword, most. Because Fallout 4 VR without mods is like a pile of dog shit smeared across the street. The game runs like horseshit. You can't even see your own arms. They just get replaced by your fucking controllers. To say this was a poor port is an understatement. 
And remember what I said earlier. You have to pay 50 quid just to play this damn thing. You know what? Let's deal with these guys a good old fashioned way, shall we? Uh, anybody here? Hello, mate. Well, just for the weapon of me, is it? Yeah, it's not going to work out too good for you guys. Okay, chem box. Hello? Okay, ladies and gentlemen. We are shitting on these noobs. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm trying to get out of my way, are you? Okay. Why'd you stop? Give me that arrow, fuck. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, how do you throw those? I have no idea, guys. I have no idea. Come on. What are you doing? What the fuck? This crap, you see you disappeared, mate. Okay, take him out. Once a few quality of life mods are installed, such as FRIK, the unofficial Fallout 4 patch, and the VR patch for that patch, the Fallout 4 script extender, and Fallout 4 VR tools, the game looks much more like a post-2020 VR game than a 2014 Oculus DK1 demo. You can finally see your own body and the game just runs smoother and crashes much less. It shouldn't really be necessary for a 50 quid game to require all of these mods to run acceptably, but it does. So what are we gonna do? Oh shit. Okay, I missed almost every shot, but I just won. I mean, that wasn't a one shot, was it? But you know, I hit him one time and I killed him. Just that one shot shit. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to die here. Okay, this guy's pushing up. Holy fuck. That guy just fucking got disintegrated. It popped a stim pack. Shit. Those fucking things, I hate them. They're so annoying, those monotops. Okay. Wow, that guy just like turned into mush. What the hell? That's a Vader. Is that a fucking Vader right there? No, it's dead body. Okay, fuck, let's put it to a better location. Oh, we need to move, we need to move, we need to move. Move up here, move up here. Can't. Jump, jump, jump. Through there, through there, through there. Run, 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 run. No health again, no health again. Okay. Jet. Fuck you, you bitch. Shit. This, guy, this fucking guy still here. So yeah, I think overall Fallout 4 VR is a pretty decent game. I just think it could have been a lot better than what it currently is. And I think once VR takes off more than it already has, we will see more official ports on Bethesda and many other companies. Anyway guys, thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a like. And if you want to see more VR content, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching.